my name is John. Today I want to share with you uh, what I call the um, World War II fighter pilot on Mars. Uh, I've done a post concerning this, some still images just with the coordinates, but I thought I'd do a video on it. Uh, I, love, I love this one so much. It's kind of funny, exciting, but it's there. And uh, let's, let's get this video here. This is from the um, Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. The high-rise camera is one of six or seven um, um, abilities that it has on board. The high-rise camera is what takes these images. Uh, you can get these images at the University of Arizona um, high-rise website. Um, and the program I'm using is the High View program. You can download that. It's free from there also. And I'm not advertising for them. I'm just showing you where I've got my, uh, my sources. And even the program I use to view the sources that I download. Let's get with this World War II fighter pilot. And um, if you'll see the spot right in there here, this is where we're going right there. Uh, this is the mantles and flows in Morro Crater. I'll put all the uh, source files, links, coordinates, everything that we're doing right now will be in the description below, if, you know, uh, with my uh, video. So right here's the area we're going to, and this is a big image, and there are so many things and I'll show you, I've got notes on this that go on and on and on. And this is just one of my notes. I've got, I, I don't know, um, a little under 100 maybe. And I'm just picking out coordinates today and I, I'm doing a video on this one. I like it. So let's zoom into this so-called World War II fighter pilot on Mars. What did he fly there? No, I'm not saying that. But uh, if you'll see, we're coming up. He's right there. Let me try to keep this centered. There are other things around this I'll point it out also. And like I say, all the sources, you can go here yourself. And there are things I'm not even going to mention. But I, I like this guy so much, I just wanted to do a video just primarily on him. Let's get there. Let me. He's right, he's right here. And... Um, Let's zoom in. Now I'll let you look at that for a second right here. Is there somebody there? Let me give you my, um, my, um, example. It's right, here we go. Now let me zoom in on that. Now we've, uh, I think that's Clark Gable in one of his movies. He did, uh, I've probably seen that movie. I'm using him for an example, and this is the spot that we're, we're concentrating on, that we're on in Mars here. And there's the coordinates. That's the name of the file, and that'll all be in the uh, description, and you can copy and paste and go there. But uh, that's my, uh, my best uh, similarity there to what I found. And if you'll notice this little cannon, I've got this here too, because you think World War II and, you know, the 1800s, 1700s, and some of them cannons they had, and then the, this old guy from World War I or II, and, well, I'll show you the cannon, too, but that's, that's my examples. You know, this guy here, the goggles, goggles, and the cap coming around. The collar comes over here. Look at that collar coming down there here. They're not exact, but that, for some reason, they're pretty close. Let me... I'll tell you what, I'll try to work the contrast. And, uh, you know, when you, if you want to do this yourself, you got to pull up the navigator. And um, that's your navigator, and your coordinates will come up here. And you can go to exactly where I'm at now. See, they'll pop in there when I go right there. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and X that out. And you can get that right here. Click navigator, and it'll pop up every time. And then you've got your uh, contrast right there. Now, let me work this contrast. Let's say I want that a little bit darker. So I'm gonna pick something a little lighter. I'm gonna go default contrast. It should go a little darker. But um, you know, you can see that guy there. Um, there's the cap. And I don't. It looks like I don't know if that's goggles, but it's so similar. It's almost pitiful. But 
you know, there he is. And I'll give you some of the details, and you can study it out. Uh, it took me a while to figure it out. I didn't realize it. I saw him, but I didn't see the uh, craft or ship or boat or I don't know if it was amphibious, uh, air or sea, uh, but it, it's either a downed craft that crashed or it's a boat that, well, ended up without water apparently, but, you know, I, I don't know, but I'm just saying this guy looks like a World War II fighter pilot. Let me try a little different contrast here. I'll try to keep it right. Well, let me see. Uh, let's go a little darker if we can. Okay, that, that looks pretty good for this. But now, now remember the cannon that I pointed out um, down here. Let's go see if we can find that. Now, if I remember right, I mean, that's him right there. I think it's... I could be wrong. I haven't done this one in a while. But it, it looks like that's it right there. There's a little, you know, fulcrum point and then the, the cannon. Maybe this cannon's what shot this guy down or was it the bomb they dropped? You know, I, I don't know. This stuff is really interesting. There are things all around this guy and I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fall short on this video because I know for a fact there's another guy beside him in another craft and they're similar, but except for the guy and the other one don't look like him. He looks like a total, totally complete different person, species or whatever. And, uh, but they're flying the same craft. You know, it's like a, a frog and a lizard, you know, flying their same planes. But anyway, you can search that out. You might find it. It wasn't easy. <laughs> But I'm not pointing that. I'm just pointing this guy today. And uh, let's zoom back in. Maybe that's a cannon. I, I, I'm going to try to stay on key here. I know there was one. I think that was the cannon I was talking about. I'm just going to point this one out. Maybe it, maybe I've got it wrong. But it looks like one of those old-timey cannons that shoots up in the air. Now let's get over back here with this guy. Now, if I got this right, I'm going to try to make this as short as I can. Let me zoom out. Now, here he is. I'm going to zoom in for you. That's him. His eye, big crooked nose, mouth, his collar coming around. He's got the, uh, he's inside of a craft. It's covered over and buried. All you're seeing is what's sticking out of the dirt. Let me zoom back out because I'm going to point a couple things out here and, um, I'm not really going to say much about it. You Now, let's go right here. If you want to see a perfect dinosaur eyeball, and I, I'm not pushing this, but that looks like an eye. And if you follow that, and it goes down this way, you know, like you got a nostril and then a mouth. What kind of dinosaur would that be? Not one that I've ever seen, but you can't expect to see everything that you're familiar with on this planet because I see an eyeball and I see them all the time that's the reason I noticed this and it may not be what I'm thinking but you follow it down nose mouth you can see a couple teeth here up and down and there and there goes back this way kind of fades out they always do for some reason um, now there were some other things I found here and I'm going to try to, to point them out and then I'm just going to go a little left and a little right. Let me see. So I, I'm just going to go up. I may not do this as if I planned to. Almost like looks like a lion face there. Eye, nose, mouth, chin. Strange. That doesn't make sense. Over here we got, well, not sure. Look, is this ET? One, two, nose, mouth, chin, two eyes, nose, mouth, chin. Maybe not. I see something there. I don't know what that is. And, uh, I, and I know that there are other things here. So I'm just kind of touching base on those. And, you know, that could, here's one. 
Here's one. I found this one just today. I, I've had this um, World War II fighter pilot for uh, a, about six to eight months now, and I finally just decided to do a video on this guy. But I go here, right there, and uh, a lot of things you don't see. You, you go here, you get to zoom in about right. If you get it right, you'll find more things. If you're off a little bit, you'll find less things. You gotta get your zoom about right. You gotta know your distances, your spans. It's, all the data is on the file even before you download it. So you might wanna gather that when you do. You can even go back. But this right here, <laughs> I saw this today. I mean, we're doing a World War II fighter pilots. And uh, look at this. Let's say, uh, you, you, have you ever seen the show Bonanza? Maybe you haven't. My grandparents have watched it. Well, they got the big, uh, Cowboy hats and got the big double bumps, two big bumps. I don't know what you call them. Looks like a big bonanza hat right here. It goes up, down, up, down. You got an eye, and then an eye, and then a nose, and then a mouth coming across here with a big beard. Some kind of cowboy looking guy there. Now, I'm not saying that that is what I'm saying, but I'm seeing, let, let's try Let's try to alter that contrast. I didn't help that none. Hang on. I'm looking for a darker. Okay, that's a little darker. I'm seeing the cowboy hat, or maybe it's not one of those hats. It's just another kind of a hat. A lot of times they got these things like jokers and the, the craziest hats, but eye, eye, little nose. Full beard and mustache all the way down the side of the ear. It's got even an ear over here. Eyeball. Eyeball. I'm not pushing this. I'm not saying that's what that is. That could be just a little paradoria or it could be a, a little abstract. It's kind of funny though because you find these guys and, and you're like, this is just nuts. It's, again, I say Disneyland. And let me see now. You can go all around this and you'll see things if you pay attention and um, you'll see things maybe I haven't, uh, there, there's some things that I can't even cover yet, but let me go this way. And there, there, there's the guy we started out with, the pilot, but uh, we're, we're above him now. You got to be careful or you'll lose your spot. If you find something interesting, my advice is let's say that's something you find interesting I don't know it's rock but let's say you find that interesting you better circle it and copy the coordinates like that just copy the coordinates you can paste it in the notepad you know right in here somewhere and um, that way you won't lose your spot because I have found things and then lost them and you're like oh my goodness it was there's another eyeball looking kind of you see that remember I pointed one out earlier and it's like there's another one here Maybe that's not. And then there, you see that face right there? This face right here? One right there? I know what that is. I ain't going to say what that is. I've got it in another video. But, you know, I, I, I'll catch heat just as soon as I do. And even I'm still going to. But if you look right here, it looks like, is that a nose? And an eye? guy's head and ear and his chin can you see that and look he's facing this way it, look, look, we got another one eye nose chin nah, I don't know about that maybe that's just a couple rocks laying there you know the shadows but there are some things that ended up this way and some things that were created into the rock so there are all kinds of things here and you have to, you know, sometimes even the shadows were intentional to help create an effect of a certain image using the shadows. Because you say it's a trick of light. Of course. But it could have been engineered that way from the beginning. When you're in a certain point at a certain time of day, the sun, and, and you want to see a certain thing. You know, there is a such thing as perfect timing. And if you do that, you could actually create an image using the sun and the shadow effects to and I've seen that here 
And I'm like, yeah, that's just shadow, but was it intentional? It would be so perfect, you would think it'd have to be. But, but you know, for whatever reason, usually it's aerial observation, and there's this guy here. So you've got one guy here with the nose and eye and chin and mouth. Eye, nose, chin and mouth. But that, that's, that's look, I mean, because they, they're, they're kind of similar. But the only one I bank on would be that one, if I even did. Again, I'm just doing this video on um, primarily my, what I call, World War II fighter pilot. And there's some things here. And let me go down a little. There's a few others. and I, You know, I should take notes. There's the cannon, remember that. And uh, over here... I need to go ahead and cut this short. Come on. There are things here. You know, I don't know what they are. Sometimes you'll see something, you'll be like so convinced. And then even yourself, you'll change your mind. What was down here? Let's see. We went one above. We went one under there. One above. Yeah, I don't know. They... I don't think that's a face. I said that. This kind of looks like a face. That looks like a great big eye. I've got dragons on my Ancient Petroglyphs on Mars video and on my Dragon Slayer Lion, Lion Tamer video. Uh, some of the first ones I posted, uh, they're there. You know, I, I'm not even surprised at anything anymore. I try not to be, but it happens over and over. Let's see if I can find my spot. Now, here, I'm going to leave it at this. This is the guy I was concentrating on. This is my comparison. He reminds me of that guy. That's him. Full leather, or maybe it wasn't leather. I don't know. Dinosaur cap? I don't know. There's a little cannon, maybe. And um, like I say, I've got tons of this. Never any. This is just one of all these things I've noted. And, um, I finally started doing videos, but I gotta go back through all of that. I don't even need to look for anything else. I've got so many notes on things, I can do videos for the next five to 10 years probably. So here we go, I'm gonna zoom back out. That's my fighter pilot. There's the things, if you wanna know, if you look, you'll see them. We're gonna zoom out, let's say goodbye to Mr fighter pilot there. We'll see you later, big guy. Over here is my mantles and flows in Moro Crater right there. Watch that. I'm, I'm going to do this. I did a video on that. I did a video on this. And I'm, I'm just going to touch base on that as I leave. He's right there. Same, same image. You've seen this video, maybe. This, I did ancient petroglyphs on Mars on this one. And let me show you real quick. He's right there. That's him. That's him. He's holding the, the bird, and then the little bird, and then the dwarf and his hand that's on this donkey that's over here beside this guy. Then you got the five-headed snake. They're, they're all over the place. You got the birds over here, and the, you got the tiger. The dragon is up here. He's right there. That's his head. Tooth, tooth, nose, whiskers. His neck stretching across there. And then, you know, you got the guy over here, this guy here. It's all in my ancient petroglyph video, but I, it's the same image. I'm just pointing out different things that's on this image. I haven't even touched this yet. But uh, y'all, uh, have a good day. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care. My name is John. Bye-bye.